Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Marvin W0MET here. Today I'm going to provide you a helpful tip on how to get coax connectors coming through your wall that looks nice and clean for your ham shack without a bunch of cables and stuff hanging, hanging through the wall. So we're going to take a double gang faceplate like this, a double gang box. Now some of these you may want, if you're doing this after the fact, you may want to get the ones with the flip up tabs that go through sheetrock and just secure to the back of the sheetrock. Uh, this is pretty much prefabrication of uh, putting in a sheetrock or anything up. You'd have these holes and, and, and nail this right to the wall or the stud right where you want it to go. But in this case, it will still work uh, for what we're going to do on this purpose. So we're going to take the faceplate, put it down. We're going to line up the holes here for where we would mount the mounting screws to. And we're going to put the pencil out here. Mark this up, know where our inside lines are. All right, now as you can see on this, um, it is our working space that we have on the inside here on this, the faceplate. So we're gonna take and line up the top and bottom holes here and we're gonna create a line in between them. So I kinda have my center point here. So I know I've got the straight line up and down. So now I've got my lines straight up and down here in between the two. I just go take my ruler and go in about three quarters of an inch. And mark my line. Let me just find me a regular pencil here. Inch and go up to the top and mark that about three quarters of an inch down. Do the same on the other side. So three quarters of an inch gives you enough space for when you put your barrel connector on, which is only about five eighths of an inch uh, hole uh, you need for a diameter size to build to put this in. This will give you plenty of room to be able to put your faceplate in there through these holes and know where you need to be. So the back of your plate should look like that by about now. And what we're gonna do is just take a, I took a 960 force drill bit and uh, I did this in a metal plate and we were able to tap the metal with a, just a, a quick metal tap uh, to create a, a center point, a center punch and I, Put this in my drill bit i drilled the hole uh, we're not gonna do that today i've already got one done here and then i took a stepper bit like this and i bought this from basically harbor freight as uh, a whole pack of them you know three pack for like 10 15 bucks pretty cheap bits overall and i just basically screwed this plate to a stud and that kept the plate nice and firm and keeps keeps it from moving while i'm trying to drill my holes and i take this off at my five, five eighths inch mark so I knew exactly where I needed to be and had that in my, you know, put that in my bit, drill through the holes and my face plate came out looking like this. So this is a really nice, you know, it looks like it's really well centered, looks really good. And uh, I'm really proud of that. That looks pretty good. I did take a little bit of a Dremel and just kind of uh, take a little sander on my Dremel and just kind of go around these edges just a little bit, just to cut off any burrs that might've been there. So there's any sharp edges. I did that on the front and back. Now these are all nice and smooth. I'm not having to worry about cutting myself on a piece of metal anymore at this point. So I've got these uh, inch and a quarter barrel connectors. They go through there pretty decently now. I get that on there. I got I bought these barrel connectors from Chat Radio, and uh, I don't remember the price on them offhand. He yeah, has three seventy five a piece. So probably the most most expensive part of this project is these four barrel connectors you're going to need. And if you look at this, you can see that it looks pretty centered across the board on both of them. So you have your one coming in from the back, and your one just going out to where you need it to go. You can make this a very short run of cable then, which is, makes it very nice and clean and keeps all your extra cable out of the ham shack 
you only have what you need there uh, to do what you need to do. Now, I've seen some people also drill a small, smaller hole here and create a grounding screw. And, and I maybe should have done that. I may reconsider this as a version two, but I've really got this laid out for uh, four different uh, labels with VHF, uh, UH, VHF, UHF, my SDR receiver to have one connector, and then two HF connectors, one for my uh, FTDX10 and the other one for my ICOM 705, which I can have permanently set up as like an ICOM, like a, a Winlink station or something like that. So that's why I wanted the four here. Um, I might be able to come in from the back or something and do a little grounding screw. I might be able to just drill one right here in the middle somehow and just put a small grounding screw in there uh, with a little bit of, um, you know, like a, a quick brass rod or something and be able to create a grounding screw there with, with a quick uh, wing nut on it. So I may consider that yet to somewhere in here and have some room to do that if there's enough room between the coax and all that to make that happen. But uh, it may be something worth considering. It, it is a metal plate, uh, but I like it. It's a lot more solid, a lot more rigid and firm than what my plastic plate here would be where I have a little more bend and twist to it. And, um, you know, it probably would work just the same, but I just thought the metal plate uh, would work pretty good. I don't, if you have any issues or you think there's going to be any issues with this, let me know. I'd be glad to hear about any comments in the, in the comments on this, but I think this will be definitely the way to go with this. So I'll finish putting these barrel connectors on, put my labels on, and this will be ready to mount in my remote ham shack in my place in Wisconsin. So anyway, thanks for uh, watching. I uh, appreciate it uh, being part of the channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. W0MET73.